um, because again, this is my story, what y'all talking about. Um, it's crazy because my mom, my, my biological mom, to this day, she'll say, I wish I would have stuck with your dad because my, my dad, ooh, my mom is lighter than me. So her skin, you know, it was bad. It was, it was horrible. But my stepmom also, like I said, my stepmom also went through abuse before my dad gave his life to God. Um, mm. And so my, my stepdad, my stepmom is reaping the benefits of, of staying together. Cause now, you know, my dad is, like I said, changed and all that stuff. But my mom is <laughs> crazy. Sorry. My mom will say stuff like, man, I wish I would have, like, looking back, I wish I would have stayed with your dad. And there were times where I would ask my dad, you know, why are you still married? Like, we understand, you know, me and my brothers would understand if you left, we get it, you know. And my father would always say that, um, you know, the whole point of marriage is death till us part, right? So I understand the endurance part. You know, I signed a contract. I said that I'm going to live through this no matter what happens. From that standpoint, I understand. And, um, you know, men are not the enemy. I, mean, I, I understand what she's saying as far as somebody can change. I watched my mother change. You know, my mother did a lot of fucked up things to my dad. Um, but still now as she's grown older and she, she's completely changed, I've forgiven her for the abuse she's done to me. And, and now our family, I would say, is genuinely doing very well. So I do understand the change thing. Um, however, my thing is at the same time, you know, it's it's a it's very, it's so tricky because everybody, like she said, has a fine line of what they can endure, how far they can go. You know, I don't think that you know if you're willing to love somebody, you should put them through um, the pain of cheating or or the pain of domestic abuse. Now, you know, I feel like when it comes to cheating, it's well, if I'm sleep, if I'm trying to sleep with you, or if I'm trying to do my best as a man to comfort you in that physical way, and you deny me. Right. I feel like that's that's a completely different topic because, you know, you're still at the end of the day human. Now, does that excuse cheating? No, I don't think it excuses cheating, but I would understand it more if that was the case. You see what I'm saying? Or or from the domestic abuse sense of, of um, if I was continually being hit by you or put down by you and now I attack you out of a response. Now, I'm not giving any excuse to domestic violence. But I would be more in a understanding kind of mindset if it came from that path. So that's just my viewpoint on that. Can I add something really quick? Really quick? Okay, yes. I, I, I want to say this too. Um, because again, this is my story, what y'all talking about. Um, it's crazy because my mom, my, my biological mom, to this day, she'll say, I wish I would have stuck with your dad. Because my, my dad, ooh, my mom is lighter than me. So her skin, you know, it was bad. It was, it was horrible. But my stepmom also, like I said, my stepmom also went through abuse before my dad gave his life to God. Um, mm. And so my, my stepdad, my stepmom is reaping the benefits of, of staying together. Cause now, you know, my dad is, like I said, changed and all that stuff. But my mom <laughs> is crazy. Sorry. My mom will say stuff like, man, I wish I would have, like, looking back, I wish I would have stayed with your dad because he was a great guy. He was a provider. He was this and he was that. And to be honest, just a side note, when I was a child, a teenager, I was really pissed at my mom. Like, I I, I despised my mom for a long time because I did not understand at the time, how can you stay with my dad when he was abusing you so much? But right. now as an adult, now that I'm a mom and now that I'm dating and now that, you know, blah, 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 I get it. I get it. And, and it's crazy how when we're talking about battered women, it's crazy how a, a woman such as my mom, as an example, would still say, even going through all of that, dang, if I would have endured, I would have been I would have been basically your stepmom living in this big house, being taken care of, blah, blah, blah. So I, I, I think it's um, I think it's I, I think we should touch on that, too, is like. Is it is it that because I, I would never stay in a relationship in an abusive relationship, but my mom is obviously not as strong as me. So I think we should touch on too, like, do women stay because they feel like they don't there's no other good men out there that they can get? Or I don't I don't know. I I, I think I think we could come at this from all a lot of aspects. But anyway, I'm gonna be my mic. <laughs> all right. Let me go ahead and get uh Jay in there. What's your thoughts? I mean, I think I think it's all about boundaries in terms of where you are in your life, 
you know, I mean, I definitely, definitely think you should endure. You know, I had my parents have been married 52 years. Uh, they have experienced that as well with my pops, you know, and me getting older and learning about this. You know, I've had my issues with my pops. I've had my own issues of what. I grew up and found out was abusive. You know, there's a difference between whoopings and beatings and all of that stuff. And, you know, it's changed behavior. You know, people get older to the point where they're almost ashamed of what they did. Once the behavior changes, they look back and they're ashamed of it. You know what I mean? Like, I remember, and this is just kind of like an equivalent. See, I remember uh, a few weeks ago, I saw this belt that my dad has, has his name on it. I ain't seen this belt in like 32 years. You know what I'm saying? But, I remember that belt, if y'all know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, that's that belt, there, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, don't go saying that out loud. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was ashamed of it. You know what I mean? So change behavior. Uh, and you have to look at the person and decide, do you love this person enough to uh, identify and, you know, work on the actual problem? Because if they're, you know, handing out abuse or if they're abusing you, there's an underlining issue. So you can choose to have your boundaries where you're out in your life where I'm not dealing with this at all. Once that happens, boom, I'm out. Or you can attack the problem. Well, why did you feel the need to do this? You know that this ain't going to work if you feel that you have to do this or if the communication leads to this. You know, this ain't going to work right. You know what I mean? So either you can diagnose the issue and try to work on the issue. Or if that's your boundary, that's something that you can't deal with. You know, you leave. But I think like what men are not the enemy was saying about the person, uh, your mother, you know, saying I should have stayed. That's her prescribing like we should have worked through that. We should have endured because it probably would have been good on the back end, you know, especially at those times, you know, I'm imagining this was the 60s, 70s, stakes were higher, you know, black men had a lot that they weren't communicating. So, but as a black spider guy, it was the other way around, you know, it was the female abusing the male. So during that era, the stakes were higher. People were walking around with a lot on their chest, you know, that was never identified. There was never the underlying issue was never brought to the table. Well, why do you feel you communicate this way? Well, my parents communicated with me like that. Who, who taught them that? Oh, who taught them that slave master? You know what I mean? It's stuff that's passed down where, you know, now I'm sure a lot of y'all, a lot of people, a lot of black people I know, they don't whoop their kids. When I say it, well, they don't beat what? their kids. Let me let me say that they don't beat their kids like the whoopings we got that I'm sure a lot of us got. Your kids don't experience that. 